Welcome to Arise America. I'm Charles Anyagolu. Now, a volcanic disaster is unfolding in Guatemala as authorities struggle to get people out of the way of a fast-moving cloud of destruction. Already dozens are dead, hundreds are injured, and many people are missing. It's happening just 27 miles west of Guatemala City, the nation's capital. Some two million people could be affected. Arise News' Duarte Geraldino has more on this developing story, and I'd like to warn you, this report has some disturbing images. At nearly 4,000 meters tall, Guatemala's Volcán de Fuego, or Volcano of Fire, is as tall as 39 football fields are long. The giant erupted without warning on Sunday. The sight was so extraordinary, many people stopped to stare to record lava flowing on their cell phones. But that decision, the time it takes to snap a selfie quickly turned tragic. The eruption sent what looked like a demonic mix of gases, debris and lava racing downhill hundreds of miles an hour. Guatemala's National Disaster Coordinator reports two children were burned to death as they watched the volcano's second eruption from a bridge. Demasiado caliente, too hot, a rescue worker yells as another lifts what looks like a doll covered in ash. But if we pause the image, it becomes clear it's actually the body of a child, mummified in ash. I heard screams, get out of here. I came and the lava was coming down. I looked and I saw that the lava was coming. The cars were by the lava. One child was crying because her grandmother and her mother were still there. I'm sure they died. Eddie Sanchez is the director of Guatemala's Seismology and Volcanology Institute. There may be volcanic ash coming up from rivers to the road from the Pacific, through the ravines that are on the slopes of the volcano. They have released pyroplasmids, flows, that is to say, gases with temperatures above 700 degrees, and there has been dispersion of ashes that have arrived in Guatemala City. It's raining ash in Guatemala City, and poor visibility has closed the country's international airports. Those lucky enough to have escaped the volcano's grip are huddling in shelters. What we have here are mostly patients with chronic diseases and patients due to the haste left without their medications. What we need most are medications for high blood pressure, for diabetes, for seizures, and obviously we have patients with first degree burns and second degree burns. Volcán de Fuego is one of Central America's most active volcanoes. It's located in what scientists call the Pacific Ring of Fire, a chain of volcanic and seismic activities stretching more than 40,000 kilometers. Now the volcano's sudden eruption is stoking fears on social media that a disaster on a far bigger scale could be on its way. For Arise America, Duarte Geraldino.